you welcome to this tutorial video on how to set up a CBT examination or test via school try making use of school try and automate every single process as the case may be Alright, so if you're just checking on this video for the first time, ensure that you click our subscribe button and ensure that you click on the notification icon as well so that you can be notified about further videos as they roll out. So basically, the first thing you need to understand is that as an administrator or as a teacher, you can initiate a CBT examination or test at any given time, meaning you can actually give an examination as a teacher or as a school administrator. And of course, you don't have to mark this examination. Every single thing is automated all that is required is for the questions to be imputed and the software automatically marks and grades each student as a matter of fact there is a special feature we are going to be showing you in this tutorial video which is malpractice check that is if a student attempts to do anything outside this examination while the examination is taking place the teacher or administrator will be notified as this occurs during the examination so of course this also boosts the rate of examination malpractice reduction with the software solution so here is how now the first thing you need to do is just come to the lower left corner here just three options from the tech support manage sms partner due payment and manage cbt once you click on manage cbt you're going to be met with a screen that looks exactly like this so once you see this screen it simply means as a matter of fact there are existing cbt examinations that has been initiated some have been published and some are drafts so let us show you how you can manage and set up a CBT examination or test. This process is the same for teachers and also for school administrators. So let us move to the actual step right now. All you need to do is come to the top right corner here. You can see new test. Click on new test. So once you click on new test, you're going to be met with this particular screen. This screen is very very straightforward and it exactly does what it says. Meaning you have the test or examination name, you have the number of questions, you have the class group, you have the select class you have the select subjects you have the test dates you have the duration of the test and then you have the instruction so let us kick into it immediately so the first thing we need to do is enter the name of the test let us say the name of the test is current affairs right so let's say affairs 2 that's because there is actually an existing current affairs or let us just change the name and just say societal fundamentals so this is the examination name so once you use this exemplary examination name you can add any name that is relative to the examination you want to set but basically this is the name we are using for tutorial purposes so here the number of questions you're going to be adding you can add as many you can add 100 questions 20 questions 50 questions this is where you actually specify because it's going to provide all these columns and of course in case you want to add more questions eventually you can also add more question columns when you are repeating the questions so basically let us say we're going to be having three questions or let us say five questions here yeah? we're going to be having five questions on this examination so we're going to be selecting the class group and then the class group let's say for example let us say we're going to be making use of main school group once you click on main school group you select the class and let's say for example you are going for primary two for exemplary purposes please and then we select the subject let's say civic education and once you click on civic education you're going to be adding the test date so let us say the test date is actually today let's say it is right now today is july 9th 2021 so you click on 9th and then the same the very same year and the time you can simply say 2 12 so you can simply just impute two here say two and say 12 p.m and of course 2021 and the duration of this examination you can either specify that you want this examination to run for one hour two hours three hours but for the sake of tutorial purposes there are only those five questions so basically you want to believe that anybody can answer five questions in less than three minutes so let us say the total minutes allocated to this examination is 15 minutes now we have the instructions tab so this instruction tab is actually going to be allowing the administrator or the teacher to carefully include information that precedes the actual examination or test so the class teacher or the administrator can say that ensure to answer all questions appropriately you can also say all questions carries 10 marks each so for that let's say that is the instruction you want to add for this test or examination all you simply need to do is click on save so 
In the next tab right now, we're going to be met with this particular screen. You are going to be adding the question. You know which question is right and which is wrong. And of course, you have provided the objectives. So all you simply need to do is impute the question and say who is the president of Nigeria. All you simply need to do is add all the options here. You can say option A is Mr. Buhari. Option B, you can say Dr. Buhari. And then as option D, you can say now in this, you can actually specify which one is correct. So let's say now the option that is correct is option C. Just click on option C is correct and move to the next question. And of course, you can add another option to this if you want, but let us just skip to this. You can just click on this ad and you can have option E. You can have as many options as you want. So we're not going to be getting to option E. So we're going to be stopping at option D. Now, we can simply say that this question, if it is correct, when the student attempts it, it's going to be carrying 10 marks, just as we promised initially. You can also remove this question in case you do not want this question anymore, but we believe that this question is very, very useful. We can include this question itself. So, all you simply need to do is move to the next question, right? Now, moving to the next question. The second question is option A, option B, option C, and option D. Now, once you do this, you're going to be moving to the next question and right now you can also select that this question the answer to this question is option b that's green and white it's simply direct and very straightforward so the next question as well goes as saying that the third question is and say option and say which option is correct you click on the correct option as well right now and of course you ensure that you highlight and say this question carries 10 marks as well so for the fourth question again we're going to have the next Next question and option you can see and again you click on the correct one as well option the exit the question carries 10 marks as well and down to the last question and say again this option is the correct one so we have been able to simply mention and identify all of our questions listed them and we've automatically marked them so that the software on its own marks all of this at the moment the student attempts the questions what you want to do next is you can either choose to save as drafts choose to publish or or just go back so since you've cross-checked every single thing and you're also satisfied with what has been said you can go to save for further adjustment or publish immediately but before you publish let us show you one of the other beautiful features on this cbt examination feature you can make a text bold italic underlined strike through you can quote you can cite and of course you can toggle the cases of each of the text you can even give a listing that is bullet numbering so every single thing can be done here on your cbt backend dashboard you can also ch change the font of your tests for example you can say this font should be monospace and of course it will be so basically let us go to let us go to the next so basically let us go to the next phase of this tutorial video which is to publish and then have a student at this question and as a teacher you're going to be able to see how it looks like on the other side so we click on publish now the moment you click on publish you're going to be met with this information that says questions published successfully then automatically you have this examination as an active examination and you can even choose to withdraw or not now what you're going to do right now is very very straightforward we are going to be attempting all of these questions and see how these questions look like on the other side for a student and of course if a student actually breaks the rules of this examination we're going to see how the teacher or, or the administrator receives the information that this is what the student has done so let us proceed so let us proceed to the next phase of this tutorial video which is to attempt the examination or test so here we go so right now we are back to the student's dashboard where this examination or test is going to be undertaken. We're going to be moving to CBT here. Just move to the left side here. The third option which says CBT. That is where you're going to be clicking. And once you click on CBT, you have three options here. You have take test, test history and practice test. You click on take test. When you click on take test, you're going to be met with this screen. Now with this screen, you can see that the teacher or the administrator that actually initiated a test or examination some minutes ago that has the name societal fundamentals has been displayed on the student's dashboard as well so the student simply needs to take this test you can see it says not attempted so once you click on take test it says make sure you are ready to take this test before you start now let us ensure something there is always an access code that takes a student into the test provided that this access code is going to be given by the administrator or the class teacher that initiates this test so simply put the access code 
is DMS989956. All you simply need to do is copy this access code, ensure that you provide this access code to the student or the candidate before this examination or test can be taken. It's actually as a security measure for this test or examination. So once you copy this access code, you simply just need to go to go back to the student's dashboard. You know, we are going from we are going from student to teacher's dashboard so as to evaluate the course and when an examination or test is initiated as an administrator or as a teacher down to the side of a student so you simply need to do is paste this access code here and once this access code has been pasted click on take test take test the question immediately pops up and you only have 15 minutes to answer all the questions now this is where it gets all interesting it says that no cheating and no talking it says that do not switch window or open another tab phones are not allowed and breaking these rules will result to your test be terminated now all of these rules are actually very very functional rules as a matter of fact when a student breaks either one or two of these rules the student will be able to complete the test but will give a report to the teacher or the administrator that this student has violated this 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 rule and we are going to be deliberately violating these rules so as to see the effect that it takes on the other side as an administrator so here we go right now you click on start test it says the first question is how many days are in a week right we can see that the question that we initially mentioned and typed was who is the president of nigeria but right now we can see that it says how many days are in a week it simply means that these questions are automatically reshuffled consistently over and over again let us go back to the attempt of this question how many days are in a week seven you go to the next or you're not through with this examination or test you can flag a question so that you can remember to go back to it at any given time even after you've proceeded so let us proceed to the next question question click on next it says how many states do we have in nigeria the question the answer is 36 and then you click on next it says who is the president of nigeria let us deliberately miss this question so that we can know that okay we know the answer is major general buhari but let us for example say sir buhari and then you again go to the next question now I said I want us to violate a rule so that we can know how it looks like on the end. Now, let us switch tabs in case a student wants to be smart or wants to indulge in my practice. Let us open another tab to quickly search for a question or anything. Now, once I click on this tab, I have automatically violated the first rule that says no switching of tab. Now, imagine I'm creating or sorry, writing that okay, oh, expo for something or something. You create it, you open that's another tab, you run to another site again, again, that's another error, that's another violation of the examination rule again you jump on that site again it doesn't say anything your question still continues your examination still continues but eventually the software will provide an analysis and report of what the student has done once it is submitted so again how many days we have in a year let's say 12 and then of course in case you are rethinking a question that okay i might have an imp imputed the wrong answer you can always go back to the previous one and say okay Buhari is not sub Buhari, is actually Major General Buhari. And then you can proceed to the fifth question. And what this question says, what is the color of the Nigerian flag? You can see green and white because that is the answer. We have green, white, green. Green, white, green is still green and white because it's just a replication of the same color, which is green. So when you are done, all you simply need to do is look at all your answers properly and check very well to be certain and then click on submit. It says, are you sure you want to end this test? You can say no, not yet done. And it leaves you to continue your examination or you can say yes i want to submit the moment you click on submit it says score percentage is 100 over 100 question one is correct question two is correct question three is correct question four is correct and question five is correct you click on end the moment you click on end it's going to take you out of the examination portal and it says finished now you click on take test again probably you want to attempt and see if it's going to work well you can just again if you have the access code again input the access code and it says error you have already taken this test so you wait for the final result day now let us go back to the teacher or administrator's dashboard to see the report that this test has given on the back end here we go this is the examination that was initially set when we clicked on it it took us directly to the next phase now this is an analysis of the examination now it says test name session time this is the information that we imputed initially then we have participants the student that just attempted the examination or test it says status finished score 50 over 50 percent 100 
percent it has automatically graded the student directly and malpractice window switch six times the number of times the window opened when the students attempted opening another window over and over again this software has recorded it and automatically has announced to the administrator that this student opened another window six times now having said that you will discover something that the teacher can actually choose at his or her own volition or the administrator that these students must fail this test these students must take this test again or anything but this software puts the decision to the hand of the teacher or the administrator so basically this is exactly how we're going to be wrapping it up on the school try cbt future ensure you subscribe to this youtube handle and in case you enjoyed this tutorial video click on the like button and ensure to come back for more tutorial videos subsequently thank you and have a wonderful time